yo, I'm not sick. I'm just whispering because this video, there's a lot of shit that I bought. Oh, the sun just came out. There's a lot of shit that I bought that my wife don't know about yet. And if y'all snitch on me, I'm killing all of y'all. Straight murder style. So keep your mouth shut, pay attention. You might learn a thing or two. Just don't talk too loud, because if she finds out I'm dead. <sighs> you got a wife that monitors your money too? I feel you, bro. Maybe I should just get to my music and get this video going, because if she walks in here, I'm getting slapped. And there's no way I'm gonna get slapped in front of all of y'all, because that's embarrassing. You sexy motherfucker. Blessed morning, my beautiful people. Shit, that was too loud. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. And I know what the title says top 10 or 10 purchases. The sun's out again. It just shines on me. I'm just such a I'm such a superstar that the sun just shot now it's just dimming. Mother Nature, you're gonna get slapped today. I know the title says top 10. I'm bringing you like 11 because it's my channel and I do whatever the fuck I want. How about that? How you like them apples? Yo, I've bought a lot of nice shit, whether it be for cold what again with this sun? Or whether it be for cold weather or summer, I just gotta stock up because whenever I find a dope deal, I gotta snatch it up. Either to keep or to flip. Either way, I'm copping shit. My wife, eh, not so happy about it. That's why I have three drawers that I hide shit in, one of them with a combination on it because she is nosy as fuck. Hashtag I have a Spanish wife. So let's get this ball rolling. This is not gonna be an intensive review. This is just gonna be showing you shit that I've bought and giving y'all an opportunity to do another viewer's choice. That's right, you guys pick whichever one of these fragrances you want, me to review next, and then I'll review them. It's just that simple. You know why I do this? Because I'm lazy as fuck, number one. Number two, I like to be interactive with y'all and let y'all know that I'm paying attention to you. Number three is because I can't think of what the fuck else I want to do. I don't like doing shit that every other reviewer does. New latest hype or whatever, whatever's popping now. I don't want to do the same shit that everybody else does. That's why I'm unique. That's why I'm special. And that's why I'm gorgeous. Well, I don't know if that's why I'm gorgeous. It's mostly because of God and, you know my mother had something to do with it and the sperm donor also this is in no particular order i'm just gonna give you a brief synopsis big word you guys tip let me know in the comments below what y'all want me to review let's go so first shout out to christy michelle and the house of matriarch here we go this is a sample it's like i think it's eight or ten samples in here let's just open it and find out before i make a fool out of myself two four Four, carry the one minus seven is a few samples in here she sent this to me because I reached out to them I let them know that I'm very curious to get more into the niche market and they were gracious enough to send me this sample to check it out and give my opinion on it I'm not again this ain't gonna be a full fucking review this is a cute fucking box let me tell you this ain't gonna be a full review now until y'all ask for it however flames fam flames I you know me and i keep telling you on every video i love to shit on stuff i love to say yo this is garbage trash a baby wipe just to wipe myself this fam flames this ain't for the broke though let's keep it 1000 for my budget conscious you know what i'm saying balling under budget fam mm, this might be tough but for y'all who trying to be sexy, grown, fancy, exclusive, limited, pay attention to this house. There's a reason why it's buzzed. Shout out to you. Chrissy, you got a hell of a fucking nose. Your team. Woo! Let's move on to the next one. The next one I copped was, was from the house of Gerlain or Gerlan, whatever. Ideal Loam. Yo. Sweet sexiness. This is what I'm gonna call this one. Sweet dark sexiness. This is like the chocolatey big booty chick who's wearing that a Victoria's Secret buy seven and get it for ten dollar spray, but she just looks that delicious that you just want to disregard everything else. Ooh, this is that the color alone, that little that whiskey color. 
mixed with this it's just like a tan big booty oh you know i'm a married man I, I don't look at those things anymore or any less sweet big booty deliciousness this is what this is fire let me know next one i'm gonna massacre the name on this one this sounds like a project chick a thick project chick who be busting dudes asses when they get out of line you know that one chick in the hood who y'all scared of let's keep it 1000 i had one of those in my neighborhood for many years anybody who knows me knows who this chick is i'm not gonna put names out there because i know she will fuck me up we all had that one chick that you were like oh she's here shut the fuck up don't look at her cross your eyes keep your hands to yourself stand in military position because she will lay your ass out this is called La Yuka Wan Por Om by Rasasi. La Yuka Wan. What? I don't even know what that means. I know one of y'all is gonna correct me and be like, it's not pronounced that. I don't care, that's how I'm gonna pronounce it. La Yuka Wan. That's like some girl, y'all like, my name is La Yuka Wan and I'ma slap the shit out of you. You know what I'm saying? This, huh, this is a diesel leather woody concoction right here. There's a buzz on this. There's a wooden cap too. This is kind of fancy. I don't know. I just think that the stupidest things. I'm a sucker for detail. This little detail is cool. This is diesel leather wood. Woo. It just hits you right in the chest. La Yuka Wan. Let me know. Next. Ha! For y'all who trying to get into the niche game just like me. If y'all don't have this already. Or y'all ain't heard about it. You living under a rock. You need to take yourself out because you're fucking idiot. This is none other than one of the beasts of the niche world. Amouage Reflection Man. Tester bottle. Boom. See? Tester. Because you know I cut corners everywhere I can. And guess what? No magnet, fam. So you know this one's the fire. Let me know if you want me to... Oh, let me know if you want me to review this gorgeous fucking masterpiece. Oh, let's just move on to the next one before I get emotional. This was a cheapie, but it smelled really dope. This is gonna be a good summer fragrance, everyday smell for me. And this is Lalique White. And Lalique is so white that you can barely see the name. There you go, there you go. Freshness, citrus, summer life, beach life weather. This ain't a very fancy grown up shit, but this is very nice. Lalique White, super cheap. No, I like my cheap. I like my bougie shit, but I like my cheapies. I love my cheapies. Lalique White. Let me know. Next one. This one I smelled it in the store as a quick sample, and I was like, "Ooh, this is this is definitely summer swag, feeling like a yacht. You know what I'm saying? Yacht party status. And this is none other than I can't even. I don't even know how to properly hold this bottle. Hermes Voyage. This, this bottle that goes like this. This was a used bottle I bought because I'm not gonna buy retail because I just don't. But this is really sexy. This is just delicious. This is a, what, 3.3, but it came, like, this much juice. I forgot how much I got it for, to be honest with you, but you know I didn't pay a lot for it. Very sexy. Summer vibes, yacht party status with boat shoes, no socks, and hopefully you wash your feet because they're going to smell like shit. Let me know if you want me to review Hermes Voyage. Next one. My name is Cuba, and I'm a hype beast. Why am I a hype beast? Because I had to jump on the train and go get this cheap beauty. What is it? Warm, rich, warm, and addictive by Zara. $19.90 for this bottle. Crazy. There's no way I'm not going to get this bottle. And it's... Believe the hype. This is impressive, Zara. Good shit. I try to go through the wall of Zara and smell the different ones. Nah, nah. For whatever they had. This one though, $19.90. I know a lot of people say under $20, 20 bucks. No, it's $19.90 for all this shit. This is beautiful, creamy deliciousness on a budget. You're welcome. Let me know if you want me to review this. Everybody and their mother reviewed it, but nobody does it like me. Next one. Hold your wallets, because this is another expensive one. Of course, I didn't pay retail, but it smells amazing. This is Tom Ford suit, or at least a Chinatown imitation of Tom Ford suit. Beautiful black tie affair. You just want to shut shit down, but you don't feel like wearing Creed Aventus or anything that's super hype that three other people next to you might smell like. Yves Saint Laurent's tuxedo. 
Ooh, just look at the gloriousness of this bottle. Little magnetic top. Got the YSL joint on top. No, you can barely see it, but this is sex, sex, and more sex. Gorgeous. You're not gonna hear too much about this. I know my man Carlos, that Brooklyn fragrance lover, you sexy motherfucker. I know he did something, he talked about it, because he got a crazy nose. This is beautiful. This bottle itself is just, ah, uh, patchouli deliciousness. That's what this is, grown and sexy. Not for y'all young bucks. It's for, you know, us with the grays who want to look delicious and not smell like everybody else wearing Aventus. Just giving y'all options so y'all can learn. Y'all gonna learn today. Next one. Again, I tell you, I'm trying to get on this niche market so your boy had to cop the Montal Intense Cafe. Let's just open the bottle because I don't even know why I'm showing y'all a fucking bottle. Look, it comes with a little carrying case joint. Ooh, fancy. You smell, this motherfucker smell like coffee, son. This don't smell like no Bustelo, you know. No Puerto Rican or Cuban coffee out here, but this is very nice. It's got this little clicky thingy. Intense Cafe, let's see if you can get the name. No, very, very nice. This smells to me like, well, pick it. Pick it and I'll review it. And then y'all find out what this smells like to me. There's this particular alcohol this smells like. Let's see if y'all can guess. You can leave comments down below. There's specific liquor or alcohol that smells just like this shit. I feel a little drunk just smelling it. But Montal Intense Cafe, let me know. Y'all into them coffee, them coffee fragrances. Smelling, you know, all gourmandish and coffee-like. Comment. Let me know, Cuba, yo, I want you to review the cafe, kid. Okay? I'll be like, yo, maybe. No, I'm kidding. I'll review it if the majority rolls. I'll review it anyway at some point, but you already know. Next one. I'm gonna put these two fucking fragrances together. They're from the same house, and it's a clone house. It's getting a nice, nice, nice buzz. And these are the first two that I bought from them. I got another one coming, but, you know, you've heard of them. It's the house from Duo Fragrances, and I got Royal Elixir, and I got the mobster this fucking guy right here this smells like a mobster i just finished smoking a cigar whacking like three or four fucking people i killed them left them in the trunk of the car put some fucking cement boots on them and threw them in the hudson that's what i do tony all right don't fucking forget it i'll kill you and your family blow up your car all right and then go eat a fucking you know some sausage somewhere right that's what this is the mobster you know what i'm saying tobacco sandalwood it's like a boss Royal Elixir makes me feel all fruity and like really sweet, nice. It's cute. I like it. It's cute. It's not gourmandish or anything like that, but it's very attractive actually. It's, you know, it's intriguing. I wanted to hate it. I really wanted to hate it. I got it for the low low. I wanted to hate it, but I can't hate it. It's, I'm going to keep it. It's a good one. You know, I don't like the fact they use these cheap little decants because I be decanting shit in these same bottles, but yo, you got to cut costs somewhere. I'm not mad at you. What can I say? And that's it for now, my peoples. Yo, let me know in the comments below which one of those you want me to review. They're all amazing. If not, I wouldn't have bought them or I wouldn't have showed you in the video. I just would have shitted on them and flipped them on eBay because that's what I do. Let me know what y'all interested in. If there's fragrances that I don't have yet that you guys want me to review that I can get my hands on them and possibly steal my wife's credit card to do so, I'll do it. Just give me time. It's hard to hide all this shit in my small ass apartment. Trust me, the struggle is real. I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to get this channel to 5,000 subscribers for this year. I'm almost at 2,500, so guess what? We need your support and your help to grow this motherfucker. I need to be the next internet sensation, all right? I want to be able to go to Hollywood and get some liposuction, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, massage the man boobs into, like, pectoral muscles. Well, somewhat pictorial because man boobs is, is, is fashionable. No six pack. I don't need a six pack. A nice, a nice little keg with some fucking love handles that chicks can hold on to when we <laughs> reading. I'm trying to be a new star, yo. I want y'all. I want you to enjoy this channel as much as possible. I wish I could produce more content, but the fact of the matter is, I'm a normal fucking human being with a normal job. I got a kid who crazy as fuck. I got a wife who crazier bring y'all good content i want y'all to laugh and have a good time not take this bullshit so seriously enjoy smelling good try to get some ass out of it whatever ass you want to get get it you like them thick chicks you got the little chicks you like boy chicks 
you like whatever the fuck you like get butt that's the ultimate goal smell good for yourself first for everybody else second you know what i'm saying and because i said so because ultimately my opinion is the only one that counts is that a little conceited is that a little much well too fucking bad thank you always for all the love all the crazy comments all the likes keep giving me thumbs up keep the fucking comments rolling come back next week share my video subscribe if you new to this channel welcome how you doing good to see you if you're not new to this channel welcome the fuck back you know you're part of the fam already so stop trying to look for compliments and validation this is just for the new people y'all next week i love y'all from the heart and the sack you already know smooches